That is your winner side. On the loser side, you have Cusco, you have Almighty Adonis, you have Ambu's Get Wrecked, and for the last of the top eight, Splash. you have Splash. Splash. Yep. So, folks, get ready for a bloodbath. You got a lot of different characters on the screen. It's definitely going to be a really interesting show. So to get started here, we have One Life to Plays, Burrito Voorhees, facing off against K7 Show Off. K7 Show Off, definitely a face that you don't get to see often on the off, on, on, in the offline scene. Definitely one of the premier Sub-Zero players out there. Burrito Voorhees, the Garrus technician, the Garrus specialist. Yeah, this Garrus has been dirty all weekend. He has been playing this character through and through, plays all three variations. Of course, he does have his favorites. And has pretty much analyzed the character to as much of a degree as he possibly can, constantly looking for new things. It like looks like he is rocking with new era. Too. And his uh, Sub-Zero, he's definitely put a lot of work in the lab, making sure that his Sub-Zero, all the variations, he, he knows them in and out. And based on the matchup, he likes to. Yeah, so uh, definitely going to see some uh, good things here from Show Off, as well as the of War. He's going to be Battle of the Mix-Ups. Yeah, Strike Throw Mix-Up versus Up, Down, Left, Right. I saw the all kinds of good stuff. Thaw. That was before my time. All right, here we Your go. time will be far Let more the rock. Round one, fight. All right, folks, we are getting started. This is your very first top eight match of the afternoon. K7 show off, facing up with Burrito Borges. K7 show off with the corner pressure. Party time already. Let's make 30 to start. Nice anti here. All right, three. Okay. Nice round, too. That was quick. 30-second round. Yeah, K7 show off, showing off that round speed. Two. Definitely Fight. not playing around here. Definitely not trying to go early. Keeps the first pressure in. All right, corner time. Jacks away from that down four. Here we go. And there's a breakaway on the board. Is he going to spend it? Nope, he's going to hold the damage instead. Nice collapse that rib cage. Here we go. Oh, yeah. K7 show off here, getting some very healthy damage, making everything stick. Real war, he's trying to find a way out, but it is not working for him right now. I like this use of the spacing here from K7 2 back in a way where Gears' little arms aren't going to hit, but that axe will. Little health left to chew through here from K7. Can he close it out? All right, side switch. This is Real board, he's chance. 10 points of health on the board, even less now. Ooh, the down one will do it, and that's going to be game one going the way K7. And a classic MK2 pose. K7 show off, taking game number one. Very, very strong performance there against Marito Voorhees. Now, remember, folks, this is top eight, which means we are now in official three out of five territory. That player's going to have a little bit more time to adapt and adjust the strategies here. Yes, definitely. And we're spending oh, so much time on this player side of the All right, this is Marito Voorhees' chance to shine. He gets the opening. Uh, uh, Send him back. Yes, here we go. Uh, Oh, Got him. but a counter post. Oh, wow. wow. Nice. Oh, that was Definitely so nasty. Nice. And this is like a reverse of the last game. K7 trying to come back. All right, Burrito Bore, he has a lot of real estate to work here. He definitely has room for error. Using that down forward to keep K7 off of him. Good blocks there. Good counter poke. And both these players also have that six frame down one. Oh, yeah, very dangerous stuff there. Definitely expect to see some poke wars for both players. Round two. Short range with the speed, very important. Nice ball in the neutral. Oh, Try to challenge. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, that is not good for show off there. Here comes the setup. Oh, wow. my goodness. Like I said, Burrito Boy in the rushing flow. Wow. And we have spent the whole time in the corner here. We haven't gone to the left corner once. Real war, he's making short work of K7 here. Gets Again, another pitch grab. The damage is stacking. 
Oh, oh. Back. Okay, he's out. Rito Bora, he's in full control this round. He's got That's a huge life lead right now. Okay, a nice oh, conversion there. One more hit will do it here. k 7 has got to turn around. Oh, man. Finish him. That was so sick. Rito on the board, tying it up 1-1 yes. here. First game in top eight. And this is the variation that people argue is the weaker of his variation. Of uh, Gears, because uh, the lack of the, the sand choke for the combo extensions and stuff? Yeah, and uh, I mean, it is less damage, but as you can see, there a lot of utility there in the mix-up department, a mm -hmm. lot of different ways to open up your opponent, a lot more room for creativity. Yeah, and that and command grab fun. has been coming in clutch for Burrito. He has hit every single one. I don't think it's been jumped. It hasn't whiffed. The tick throws have all been right where he needs them. Yeah, definitely. All right, we are one game of peace, one game of peace, folks. And Burrito Mori, he's getting a lot more liberal with these command grabs. Finally visiting the left corner here. Oh, and a nice confirm there. Side switch. He down two. Uh, double jump in combo. I have not seen that. Yeah, like I said, this man knows his character. Burrito Mori, he's definitely one of the Top tier Garen technicians in the field. That's that dedication paying off. All right, a little bit of back and forth here. No off. Now getting the opening up his own. A nice Water. counter poke there. He's gonna keep it grounded. Okay, just the launcher. Oh, and that's such a tough combo. Just frame juggle what he gets to carry to the corner. Take him home. Big boot. K7 now one hit away with that fatal blow available. Sub Zero's massive comeback potential. Oh, I think he's got it. You hate to see it, folks. Show off, stealing around. Yep. Oh, but Burrito Boy, he's trying to defend. But it's not going to be enough so at that damage. last hit. Another 60 tacked on. All right, show off here, getting on the board once again. Fight. He really can't count Sub Zero out. His ability to convert that fatal blow to massive damage always a threat. All right, Burrito Bora, he's fighting back. Trying to use that low sand trap. However, the, the crushing blow conditions are different in this variation. And the variation, the infinite warden variation, where you only have to whip the low sand trap twice. In this version, where he uses the hammer, you actually have to hit the opponent while they are stand blocking. So akin to Cabal's crushing blow with the low hook grab, where you have to catch the opponent stand blocking. See if you can catch him, open him up. Nope, good defense here from K7. Oh, the great block. Flawless block and reacted with the up two, made sure he got it. Yeah, he's going to put the fear in his heart of doing that again. And a huge chunk of damage just from the reversal alone all the way into the corner. That looked like an input air. Block on a low rock. We have more he's here. Trying to get some real estate for himself. Ooh. Is he going to be able to get super? Yep, that's going to be in K7's favor here. Fatal Blow now available for Gears. The overhead, I think he should be able to close this out without giving him a chance. And that's game three going the way of K7. Sub-Zero takes Sub -Zero. another. All right, folks, we are, again, three out of five territories. So K7 needs to win one more to take this set and move on on the winner's side. Burrito Voorhees staying composed. And that instant rematch as well. We're going right back into it. Command grab, carry him to the corner. I feel like these fights have spent almost no time in the mid-screen. Neither one of these characters want to be there. All right, and the tick grabs are paying off here for Burrito Mora. He's losing barely any health here. Oh my Stepping goodness. Back. The okay, fix. Go. All right, in the corner. Gonna spend the bar, 300 damage. All right, Burrito Mora, he's having a lot of room error here because he got a great start off. Oh, and a back dash to make the throw with. So now about double that health. Ooh, nice fossil block. Here's the free. All right, now we were seeing the flawless, we were seeing the flawless blocks in the earlier games, but no flawless block reversal. So now these players are starting to be a lot more active with those. Yeah, stepping up their game, adapting here on the fly. Oh, and that's it. It's gonna go into fatal blow. Yep, close it out. K7 will take round one of game four. All right, similar story here for show off as he steals the round once again. Now he is one round away from set set points. No off. Separates him from advancing here in this winner's side top eight match. Definitely trying to stay on that winner's side. You do not want to be on the loser side in this regard. Oh man, loser side is so much scarier. It's cutthroat out there. Definitely. Oh, Whistle low. Back and forth, Shimmy. The down one knocks him out of the air. And there's the command grab in the neutral. All right, some back and forth from, he, from, from these players here. Oh, gets caught pushing, but it's not good. Two, uh, oh, in the setup. 
Oh, where are you going? Ow. Oh, oh. I've seen that before. That's and it's party time for Brito Voorhees. One more clean combo will do it. Four, command grab. One hit away. And it's adding up. What's K7 going to do? Down four. He doesn't have that fatal blow either. He's going to have to do this the old fashioned way. Never mind. All right, final round here. Burrito staying in it. Burrito Voorhees feeling that corner Fight. pressure. Definitely feeling up mix ups. Taking advantage of that. Man, it seems like a risky thing to just throw those ice balls, but he wins the trade, so. Okay, here we go. Go you know, for the crushing blow. Yep, collapse the rib cage, send him to the corner. All right, case of a show off, making uh, making a good call there, using that crushing blow, trying to make as much damage stick as he possibly can. All right, here's final round. Spend the resources. out of the corner, likely fishing for that escape tech field so that he can get that crushing blow queued up. Sub-Zero, one of the characters that can even combo into it as well. Still tech Oh, and up. that is not a good choice there for Showoff. Now he's getting put in the blender. Back to the corner. Very dangerous game right now. Uh-oh, the Again. stick set us. Here it is, party time. What's the mix-up? A straight hit into Fatal Blow. Could close it out here for Gears now. Ooh, he's got it. Keep it unbreakable. And that'll do it. Show off, taking the set, 3-1, using that breakable damage. Very well. Close it out. Yeah, Burrito trying to break away at the end, but not enough health left in the tank at that point. All Very right, but stuff. of course, Burrito Voorhees was on the winner side of that match, so he does have one more shot, one more chance to make it work. Yeah, he's still hanging in here. Going to be a threat in that uh, loser side of the bracket. All right, and next up, we're going to have MCG's Woolander taking on Panda Global Gaming's Katana Prime, Jade versus Cetrion. I'm super excited to see this. Woolender actually has been